Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The five glorious mysteries. The first mystery is the resurrection of Jesus. We offer this mystery for all who are sick and suffering, especially those afflicted by COVID-19. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. And lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of Jesus to heaven. We offer this mystery for those serving in the front lines, medical workers, hospital staff, security forces, pharma staff, supermarket and bank employees, the media, and also the leaders and servants in our church and our government. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit. We offer this mystery for countries that are greatly affected, by the COVID-19 crisis, especially our country, the Philippines. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. 
The fourth glorious mystery is the assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary into heaven. We offer this mystery for the protection of our families and loved ones from sickness, danger, and harm. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary as Queen of Heaven and Earth. We offer this mystery for the eternal repose of the souls of our dearly departed, especially those who had passed away because of this virus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry for bunch children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn them, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after these our exile. Show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promised. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. For the intention of our Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Oratio Imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed us and claimed many lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts and healthcare personnel that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help all those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. 
Grant all these to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calansot, pray for us. That in all things God may be adored and glorified. Amen. Thank the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please all stand and let us pray the novena to our Mother of Perpetual Help. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you send your divine Son, to redeem us by his death and resurrection, and to give us new life. By this, you make us your children, to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten the sublime dignity. We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children.
please all kneel. Nubina prayer, dear mother of perpetual help, from the cross Jesus gave you to us for our mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. Please mention your petitions. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God. You accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us and he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same while praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this Nubina. We earnestly ask you, our mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin, which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassionate intercession. Amen. Prayer for the home. Mother of perpetual help, we choose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loved his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us, a sen give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace, like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor, so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin, conceive without sin. Pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Help, pray for us. We sinners call to you. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men. Loving Mother, pray for us. 
that we may be more and more like our divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may strive to be true Christians by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in a spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, pray for us. That the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be blessed with an increase in priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may care and protect God's creation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may defend the human dignity and sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. Loving Mother, pray for us. That there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of our dependence in God in the midst of human achievements. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, pray for us. That our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your Son's resurrection. Loving Mother, pray for us. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions. Holy Mary, pray for us. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience God's perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Please all stand.
Please all kneel. Thanksgiving prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of light. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well, so that through them, we may grow in love for Him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of His love to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual health. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession and especially to the Nubina inspire us with greater confidence in God's loving mercy and perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in his love. To the most holy trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayer for the sick, especially silently remember your sick loved ones. Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other affliction of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We offer this Holy Mass for all who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries, for those who are sick, especially with COVID-19, for all those who are serving in the front lines, medical workers, hospital staff, security forces, pharma staff, supermarket and bank employees, OFWs and seafarers, teachers and school administrators, the media, and also the leaders and servants in our church and our government. Thanksgiving of our donors and sponsors and all other intentions offered in this Eucharistic celebration and for the eternal repose of the souls of our dearly departed. Today is Wednesday of the 28th week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Dave Concepcion. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand, but with you is found forgiveness, O God of Israel. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to participate in these sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now, the works of the flesh are obvious. 
immorality, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, hatreds, rivalry, jealousy, outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, dissensions, factions, occasions of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. In contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such, there is no law. Now, those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also follow the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Those who follow the Lord will have the light of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watch over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Hallelujah. 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 My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord said, Woe to you, Pharisees! You pay tithes of mint and rue and every garden herb, but you pay no attention to judgment and to love for God. These you should have done without overlooking the others. Woe to you, Pharisees! You love the seat of honor in synagogues and greetings in marketplaces. Woe to you, you are like unseen graves over which people unknowingly walk. Then one of the scholars of the law said to him in reply, Teacher, by saying this, you are insulting us too. And he said, Woe also to you, scholars of the law. You impose on the people burdens hard to carry, but you yourselves do not lift one finger to touch them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I was formerly assigned in a parish na konting ulan lang bumabaha. Dalawang taon at kalahati ako doon. Doon ako tinubuan ng alibunga. I cannot but sometimes when it rains hard, it made me go back and ask and wonder Kumusta kaya sila? 
sometimes when we are sleeping too comfortably in our own homes, we forget how people, other people are doing. Please remember them in your prayers. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, there are only two sides. Either you are good or bad. You are either you are in the flesh or in the spirit. Regardless how good you are in justifying your actions, at the end you will know whose sides you are in. I do not know if you notice this, every time St. Paul says this, the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit. Hindi niya sinabing the fruits. Hindi niya sinabing ganan. Hindi niya sinabing ang mga bunga ng Espiritu. Ang sabi lang niya, ang bunga ng Espiritu. It's com- comprehensive. Ano pa? Love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Lahat yan dapat nasa iyo kung ikaw ay talaga sumusunod sa Diyos. When we talk about making ourselves better today than yesterday, you look into this. Ako ba, lumago ba ako sa pasyensya? Mas naging pasensyoso ba ako ngayon? Ako ba ay mas naging, sabi nga, mahinahon? Magandang pagtunan ng pansin. Sabi ko nga kahapon, when we talk about winning, it doesn't mean you don't sin. But hopefully, little by little, you, you, you sin less. You sin less. Kung, kung pitong araw kasi sa linggong nagchichismis, pag ikaw ay apat na araw na lang nagchichismis, masama pa rin yun, pero better yon kaysa doon sa pitong araw. There must be something that is measurable. You have heard this. When you talk about growth, when you talk about improvement, when you talk about goal, you must be specific in what you want to become. You just can't, you, you just can't really say, I will become a better person. In what way you want to become a better person? Be specific. Be specific. I want to be a more prayerful person. So how do you measure being more prayerful? Gising ka habang nagdadasal. Hindi yung tuwing nagro-rosaryo, natutulog ka. Or kung ikaw ay nagsisimba, nakafocus ka. Nakafocus ka. It must be measurable. And as I said, do not put a goal that it is not attainable for you. Hindi naman nangangarap ang Diyos ng isang bagay lang para sa lahat na kung saan hindi naman talaga tayo pantay-pantay. Kung merong pangarap ang Diyos para sa lahat, hari nawa, ikaw at ako makarating sa langit. Makarating sa langit. Hindi yung malapit lang. Malapit lang. Kung naalaala po ninyo, nung tinanong, tinanong siya ng isang scholar, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Sinabi sa kanya, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and with all your strength, and you love your neighbor. Alam nyo lahat yun. Alam natin lahat yun. Ang problema lang doon, hindi lang natin, hindi lang natin isinasabuhay. Nung, nung, nung sinagot yun, ano sabi? Hindi ka malayo sa langit. Hindi ka malayo sa karean ng Diyos. Or, pwede mo sabihin, malapit ka na. Malapit ka na sa langit. Pero magkaiba po yung malapit at nasa loob. Tandaan po ninyo yun. Malapit. Kung halimbawa, ang passing grade ay 75, ikaw ay 74.5, malapit ka na. Makapasa. Pero bagsak ka pa rin. Dapat maliwanag sa iyo yun. There are minimum 
requirements. What is the gospel trying to tell us? You, ne- you can never justify yourselves before God. You can never justify. You feel being insulted when you are being corrected. Maraming ganon. They feel being insulted when they are corrected. Rather than examining themselves, totoo ba? Mga minamahal, mga, mga kapatid, mahirap yung halimbawa. May nagtatanong. Sasabi niya, halimbawa, father, yung asawa ko, ng aliwa, mayroon pong kinakasama ngayon na hiwalay sa asawa. Pag ako po ba ay namatay, halimbawa lang, ano pa, namatay, ang asawa ko po ba ay may kasalanan pa rin, ano pa? Of course, ikaw lang naman ang namatay eh. Hindi naman namatay yung asawa nung, nung kinakasama niya, ano pa? I have, I have heard these questions many times from many other people. But one of those questions I remember, I remember one of those questions. When I try to prove, pinuprove mo, hindi po ba? Later on, yung kanyang example, siya pala yun. Siya pala yung nangangaliwa. Ano pa? Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, We can, never, we can never justify ourselves. Alam mo yun. Pero nagpapasalamat ako. Nagpapasalamat ako sa Diyos na kahit paano nabubulabog ka sa iyong kasalanan. Kasi ang problema ng marami, we have become callous. Callous with our sins. Not that we lost the sense of sin, but we simply become callous nagiging manhin. Pag ikaw ay hindi naman nagyayapak, ano pa, hindi ka naglalakad ng walang pangyapak, palagi ka nakasapatos, chinelas, whatever, pag nasubukan mo maglakad ng yapak, talagang yung unang lap, yap, yapak mo sa, sa batuhan, masakit yun. Pero pag palagi ka ng yapak, barefooted, kahit gaano katalas ng bato, hindi na masakit yun. Hindi dahil lumambot ang bato, kumapal ang kalyo ng paa mo. Ganon din sa kasalanan. The first time you do sin, it made you feel guilty, perhaps ashamed. But in constantly doing sin, you know it is sin, and yet you become callous. You are no longer affected. And it is good when people reminds us that there are wrongs in our lives. Don't get angry with them. Thank God for them. That there are people who is being used by God to remind you of what is right and wrong. Mga minamahal, walang perfecto sa atin. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, kung meron mang perfecto ngayon, apelyedo na lang. Perfecto. Apelyedo na lang yan. Pero sa gitna ng ating mga kahinaan, ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ay palagi nag-iimbita sa atin. If you remember the gospel last Sunday, God constantly inviting us. And it is up to you to yield on God's invitation or not. You can never say, I was not able to go to heaven because I was, ne- I was never given a chance. That's not true. That's not true. Every time you woke up in the morning, you wake up in the morning, it is always an opportunity for you to choose God. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water in wine, we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work human hands have made. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice. We offer you with humble and contrite heart. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven, Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior, and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bands of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and all the saints, we proclaim your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our Administrator, all the bishops, and all the clergy. Father, please hear the prayers of your children, 
gathered before your holy presence. Let's spend a few moments of silence and I invite you, brothers and sisters, that you personally ask the Lord for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Ask the Lord. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Santa Maria Goretti and all the saints of Lysia throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families, peace in our workplace, peace in our community, peace in our country and in the world. And grant you unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in Holy Communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray the prayer of Padre Pio of Petrocina. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength, that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you, I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you, I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it's getting late and the day is coming to a close, and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way, and for that I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustain me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for, your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you. And ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so we may make us hearers of his divine nature who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for a new Archbishop or Archdiocese of Manila. Heavenly Father, you have blessed our Archdiocese time and again with good, holy, learned, and wise shepherds who have led us ever closer to you. Aware of your profound love for us, we ask you to bless us once again. Send us a good, holy, learned, and wise man to become our next Archbishop. Inspire us, the clergy, religious, and laity, to work generously with him so that we might grow together in your love and continue the good work you have begun in us for the sake of all people. We ask this through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for our family. Dearest Father in heaven, bless our family and bless us with new beginnings. Smile upon our parents and surround our children with a soft mantle of your love. Teach every child of ours to follow in your footsteps and to live life in the ways of faith, hope, and charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly mention your intentions. Amen. 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for Amen. us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Please rise. Again, my dear friends, my brothers and sisters, so that we will not miss people who have gone ahead of us from our families, write them, write their names in a piece of paper and put them in front of your gadgets every time you participate in our online masses. The whole month of November, we will be praying for them every day, every day, until the eve of the solemnity of Christ the King. Second, if you do not mind, every time we begin our masses, especially those who are joining us through online, please share and do a watch party. For some, it will be difficult because of their internet in connections, but we found that we are reaching more people if we do watch party. We are reaching more people. Third, those who are watching us in YouTube and somebody asked, Father, sa namin ipapadala yung, yung mga pangalan? Ano po? As I have said, you can write them in a piece of paper and... Uh, we will include them in our Eucharistic celebration for the whole month of November. Or you can, you can send us through Facebook, through our page, or you can email them. Anyway, ingat po kayo. Ano pa? As I've said always, may virus pa. May virus pa. A good doctor last Friday complained of headache. Then, he brought himself to the hospital because of the fever. Then, he started <clears throat> vomiting he got intubated. Sunday evening, he passed away. Doktor yan. Ganong kabilis. Pag may doktor na namamatay, mag-isip-isip kayo. Ano pa? May virus pa. Pagkamisan, gustuhin man ng Diyos na ikaw ay maligtas, dala na ngayong katigasan ng ulo. Sabi ng mga anak, Father, i-announce mo nga. Sabihin mo nga doon sa nanay ko na wag labas ng labas. Ano pa? Ang namumroblema ngayon yung mga anak eh. Kasi mga magulang, pasaway. Ano pa? <clears throat> Alam ko naman, banggitin ko mga pangalan nyo sa misa. Na kayo ho'y wag matigas ang ulo. Ano po? Mga magulang, ano po? Kung nagre-reklamo kayo ng inyong mga anak ay matitigas ang ulo nung sila'y bata pa, ngayon kayo ho ang nare-reklamo ng inyong mga anak na matitigas ang ulo ninyo. Ano po? Makinig ho kayo. May virus pa. Kahit po pinapayagan ng senior na lumabas, hindi ibig sabihin, exempted kayo sa virus. May virus pa. Ano po? Brothers and sisters, 
we will not be condemned because we have sinned. We will, con we will be condemned because we have failed to turn away from sin. We will not be condemned because we have sinned, but because we have failed to turn away from sin. Sinabi na sa iyo kung ano yung kasalanan ng atuwiran pa. At yun ang mas mahirap. There are only two sides. Either you are in the side of the flesh or in the side of the spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after these, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. God bless. <laughs>